Hey y'all, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha. I am Andrew. And today we are super excited to do a taste test of every single vegan turkey list roast or product that we could find local to us. All right, so just to give a little bit of a background that this is going to be our third Thanksgiving being vegan. However, we have not actually ever tried any type of vegan turkey alternative. Yeah, so we ended up getting a suggestion from you guys um, in regards to doing a taste test for a turkey alternative. So our idea was to grab every single one we could find, um, exploring all the stores. That way, whatever we end up saying thumbs up to, you have a possibility of grabbing too. Uh, so just in case some of you might be wondering, uh, the very first Thanksgiving that we ever did vegan, I think we just grabbed like a frozen <laughs> bag of meatballs. Yeah. We made some like mashed potatoes and then we had like broccoli or something. I mean, even last year, I think we pretty much just had sides like the entire time. And, and desserts maybe? Yeah, I mean, isn't that what it's all about anyway? Sides and dessert? <laughs> yeah. True. What we did was we basically went to a few stores locally and we just tried to find as many vegan turkey lists or alternative things that we possibly could. And we do know that there's some more options, but we would probably say that these are the main ones that most of you should be able to find across the US. Yeah, well, so we found nine of them total, I, I wanna say here, and uh, <laughs> Some of them are some store brands and we're kind of excited because we want to see how they stack up against, you know, those main popular big brands, I guess you can call it. Just one last thing before we get started is that there will be a blog post that is associated with this video. Yep. We will link that in the description below, but it will tell you our opinion in written form, the pricing, um, the ingredients and allergens, as well as what stores you can find these at. Um, we always try to support our local natural health store. So quite a few of these we found there, but we know that not all of you live here in South Jersey. So um, we will either tell you where you can find Find it or link to the store locators in that blog post. Um, also, the way this whole video will go is we'll do each one by one and we'll give you our opinion um, so that way we're not comparing them right next to each other. Um, and I guess each one could have a fair shot against each other, you could say. And then pretty much at the end of this, we'll recap kind of, you know, what we thought, what our top three was, but we'll be including some good detail just to help you understand if it's even worth the money. Right, all right, you ready to get started? Let's yeah. Let's do it. All right guys, so we are here with our first one. Are you a little nervous? I'm a little nervous. Why? I'm, I think I'm nervous about the whole thing. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Maybe it's just me. How you go from excited to being nervous? <laughs> I we, don't know. You was excited when we started and they weren't open and now you're nervous. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so this one is the Field Roast Celebration Roast. Um, and we got this at our local natural health store. However, we also saw this at Whole Foods. Um, I believe I saw it at Sprouts when I had to run in there for something. Um, and I believe Whole Foods also has it. So again, we'll put the store locator on the website. So just go ahead and check there. I think you might've said Whole Foods twice. So just to be clear is- Did I say Whole Foods? Yeah, you said Whole Foods and then Sprouts <laughs> and, and then, then Whole, Whole Foods. Foods again. So I just wanna make sure if you didn't, if you meant like another store that we cleared it up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I meant to say. Store locator will be on the website. All right, cool. Um, this one, our, uh, our natural health store always has two different prices. They always try to make it seem like something is a little cheaper there than other places, but that's not always the case. But um, it says that the normal price should be 21 and that I we actually paid 18 for it, okay. 18, 29. Okay. Um, so somewhere around like the 18 to 22 dollar range is what this one would be. And it's a pretty big size. Um, it says that it should serve eight, it, it's eight servings, mm -hmm. so eight people ish um, as far as ingredients this one comes with the turkey roast and then it comes with it came with gravy um, and so inside of the uh, it actually doesn't break it up but it just says it contains wheat so there's no soy no nuts anything like that in this one um, just the wheat and it is in the gravy and the roast okay um, it says vegan on it I'm pretty sure field, everything field roast is vegan. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Um, oh, so as far as prep goes for this one, 
um, you did have to thaw it for 24 hours in the refrigerator. Got it. So uh, that's something that obviously you have to remember to do, um, which is a little bit of a downside, I guess, like if we're talking about pros and cons mm -hmm. um, for this one versus some of the other ones that we have coming later. Well, when you think about real turkeys uh, that come out of the freezer, I, I think that's something you have to do regardless, right? Yeah, and that's usually like five or six days. Exactly, but also real turkeys are bigger, so they can't like go in a microwave or anything to defrost. Do you know if these are able to? Um, it says it's okay to refreeze. It does not say anything about um, thawing out faster. Mm -hmm. Um, this particular one doesn't. I know some of the other ones coming do say that, but this one does not. So literally just says, thaw in the fridge. Okay. Um, it, you can thaw it up to seven days ahead of time. So that's good. good. Um, so for this one, all you had, you had to preheat the oven. Um, you had to uh, cover it with oil um, and then put a little bit of water inside of the baking dish. And then you basically baked it for an hour. So this one took 45 minutes covered and then 15 minutes not covered. Cool. Um, and then it's done. So now the only thing that's left is to cut it into slices and taste it. Okay, well, uh, I'll start here at the end. Yeah. And we will see what happens. I think like with Field Roast, like we like a lot of their products, especially their hot dogs are our favorite. So I have, yeah pretty high expectations here. So hopefully they don't disappoint. Uh -oh. um, I will say that uh, this one says that it's a traditional bread stuffing and then it's mushroom gravy. Um, we do have another one from Field Roast coming and that one is has a different stuffing. Um, so I just wanna say this is, I'm, I'm using a serrated knife, um, but it's, the texture is pretty, pretty spot on. Um, with what to expect from the meat-like product. Okay. Um, so let's go. I, I'm ready to okay. chow down. We'll turn it this way. Oh, should we show? Yeah, absolutely. Let's show you guys like what the inside of it looks like. Hold on. I'll try to pick it up a little bit here. This is what the inside of it looks like. You almost can't tell like the difference between like where the stuffing ends and where like the I literally was just gonna say, didn't you say this had stuffing? Because I don't yeah. I don't see anything, but I can I can tell where like the orange bits. I think the stuffing is right. Uh, like right here. It says bread stuffing. Um, so I could tell some of the orange bits of where it may be. Yeah. All right, you ready? Uh, I was I was literally gonna do it on my hand. I didn't realize we had forks. This does look like it has lentils. Um, in it. It does. But I don't... Doesn't say it? Oh, it does say lentils. Yeah, say so it. that's what it's it is. Definitely lentils. There's like little lentils coming out. Mm. All right. Just trying to make sure I get some of the inside and the outside. You want to try it with the gravy and without the gravy? Like try it without first? Yeah, why not? All right, ready? Yeah. Go. It's quite the big piece, I'm just... I can't say I don't like it. I, I think gonna I like it. I say this is pretty incredible myself. Yeah. I don't, I don't see what's not to like. No, I... This is great. This is the first one. <laughs> we should have saved it to last. Oh my God. How are, we weren't, we couldn't have known. All right, I'm just gonna dip it in the pot. Well, as you said before, it's field roast. We should have had some high expectations for it. Maybe we saved the other one to last, just in case. I also want to point out, I hate mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms. <laughs> I'm about to try this gravy. There's not really... I don't know if my opinion is great, but it's it's not an actual mushroom. Like it's yeah. more of the texture thing I don't like about mushrooms. I didn't take enough last time to give an opinion. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, it's not bad to me, but I know you've never tried my mushroom gravy that's on the website because it has chunks of mushrooms in it, but I 100% prefer the homemade one versus this. But if you don't like making, this gravy took less than 10 minutes to make. Mm -hmm. um, you literally, it was like a, a packet um, and you just poured the packet in here with some water and you stirred it till it got thick. Like you can't get any easier <laughs> to make gravy than that. No, for sure. Um, I, I do want to say I preferred it without the gravy myself. Yeah. So. I, I wouldn't be using a gravy, but... And gravy know. is a must for Thanksgiving, so I have like super high expectations. 
Well, there you go. But this is amazing. Yes. So uh, overall, ten out of ten, basically. All right, why not? Yeah, I'm new. I don't think we're giving star ratings for this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we really like this. Now I'm nervous about what's to come. I guess we will see. Yeah, stay tuned. I know that you told me we should probably wait to do the other field roast one until later in the video. However, it was the next one that was done. So here we are. All right, so this one, first of all, I think this the size is adorable. Like this isn't, we didn't cut this or anything. Like this is literally the size that it came like in the package. It might be um, adorable, but... <laughs> How many of these do people have to buy to feed uh, the eight people? Well, no, so this one says five servings, but I thought this was good for like, especially this year with people not like traveling so much so they don't have like a ton of stuff left over, but they want like a little portion or a lot of times somebody goes somewhere and they're like the only vegan that's there. And so like they might want like a tiny thing. They don't want this whole big roast. So I just, for that purpose, I think this is great. No, I, you make a solid point. Yeah, so we also found this one at our natural health store and mm -hmm. this one was $9.49. Yeah, $9.49. It's like rubbing off a little uh, bit. Oh, okay. Um, so this one is also a field roast celebration roast, just smaller, but this one is actually stuffed with butternut squash, apples, and mushrooms. The other one said a traditional bread uh, stuffing and this one actually says the squash, apples, and mushrooms. Um, mushrooms. <laughs> this one uh, does have um wheat and it doesn't actually say like may contain or anything down here like the allergen so like i'm looking through the ingredients um i only see wheat however this one does say that it's manufactured in a facility that processes tree nuts and it, that wasn't on the other box which is interesting to me so maybe this is processed in a different facility than the other ones possibly yeah um and so this one though I thought was cool as far as prepping goes is because it's already fully cooked. Um, and so you just had to heat it up in the oven for 30 minutes, which was awesome. Um, so this was not in the frozen section, basically. It was in the frozen section. You did have to thaw it out just like the other one. God. I should have said that, sorry. Um, so you did have to thaw it out 24 hours, but it heat, heated up, heated up? right? Heated up. Uh, heated is a uh, word, I believe. Much faster. I mean, we're talking, the other one took 60 minutes, this one took 30. So it's half the amount of time um, for cooking. Um, it also says though that um, once it's thawed, obviously, so we did it in the oven, but it also says you could slice it as soon as it's thawed um, and just do it in a saute pan for a couple of minutes. So you also have that option. Okay. Um, but you can also slice it and put it in a microwave for a minute or less. Huh. It also says you can serve it cold, but we know how you feel about that. So. Yeah, not happening. All right, ready? Yep, yep, yep. So I made a few slices here. Hold on, we didn't say... show them. Oh, Let's try yeah. to show. Hold on one second, let me put that down. So this one, I feel like you can actually see the stuffing much more clear. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. This one doesn't come with a gravy though, so you have to look on our site for that. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You can still see the lentils here. All right, I'll cut this in half and you have that half. I don't know if I'm having a whole half since we have a couple of these to eat. <laughs> I meant half a slice, this slice is thin. All right, so. Plus I got mushrooms. Oh gosh. I'm like itty bitty tiny. It's not itty bitty, this is a good piece. No, I meant mushrooms. You can't tell what's a mushroom and what's not a mushroom. Yeah, I can tell. I could see if you don't like lentils, you can clearly see the lentil. I can tell. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. To be completely honest with you? It's the exact same texture for the meat. I honestly feel like it tastes almost exactly the same. Like if you put this one in front of me, an hour later put the next one in front of me, I would have thought they were the same. I do feel like this stuffing is a tiny bit sweeter. Do you feel like that? I probably have to, I, I would have to taste them next to each other. I don't know that you could tell though, like honestly, I'm just trying to compare. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It tastes good though. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Yeah. So, field roast, celebration roast gets two thumbs up from us. 
What happened to the 10? This, this one, you want to get thumbs up, no 10? Yeah, just thumbs up now. Okay. Thumbs up or down. Well, we gotta, we're gonna decide. We're gonna give <laughs> a, a depiction of, of what three or, or so is, is the best. Yeah. I say if you can find this one and you have a very small family, you go with this. Um, or if it's just you eating somewhere, please be safe this year. How you gonna give them a recommendation? We ain't even tried the rest of them yet. I, don't, I mean, it should be, it's just done from here. Well, <laughs> nothing else can beat this. All right, video's over. <laughs> we'll be back in the next one. All right, we are back with number three, and this is probably the oldest and most iconic turkey substitution from our research. Uh, this is the Tofurkey uh, plant-based roast. This one has wild rice stuffing, so no mushrooms. <laughs> Watch there be like mushrooms in the ingredients somewhere, right? Like, uh, don't read, don't read it, don't read it. Um, so this one is made with soy and wheat. We did get this one again from our natural health store, local to us. Um, it has the same price, like the suggested price and the sale price. Um, so the suggested price is $19.59, and the sale price was $17. So you should be able to find it somewhere between $17 and $20. Um, I know that we have a shop right local to us and they always do a special around Thanksgiving time where if you spend a certain amount of money in the month of November, you get a free turkey. Um, but obviously we wouldn't eat turkey. So they actually do have a uh, fine print little thing um, every year that says you could replace that turkey with a tofurkey substitution. So I always thought that was nice. Yeah, um, it's really considerate. Yeah, so uh, if you have a store like that, then uh, you could search for something like that. I do like that it has like made with love in Oregon. So it's a US based company. So uh, cool. you're supporting local basically. Um, yeah, ready to taste it? Um, yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, we should show. I keep forgetting to do that. I forget too. All right, so you can see this one, the, the stuffing is much more prominent about like where the meat base portion is and where the stuffing base part is. But it looks good. Yeah. You were Can like, have that? With the knife? Yeah. What were you about to say? Oh, nothing. You were saying something about me. Uh, you were just quiet. I didn't know like, like if you were uh, nervous about like the way it looked or something. Uh, no, not necessarily. I, I don't uh, know like how much we've had from Tofurky. I feel like we've tried their deli slices. But I don't, I can't even tell you if I remember what they taste like. Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay. I don't have the stuffing. I just have the. You don't have no wild rice? No, not, I was going to taste it after. Oh, it's supposed to be, to be together. Ready? Yeah. Go. I like this stuffing. Okay. Um, we should probably tell people that you don't traditionally eat any type of stuffing. Um, so this to me has a more like traditional herby, uh, herby? That's, herby. That's a word. Um, flavor that like most stuffings have. So I like that about this. Okay. Um, I do like the texture of this. Um, I don't know that I like it as much as the field roast one, but I still like this. No, I, I personally, I would give this pretty high ratings. It, yeah. um, it tastes pretty good to me, stuffing and all. Uh, I, I, honestly, it's a, I think the texture of this one is extremely close to- A turkey. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say a meat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a turkey. Yeah, much. I didn't tell everybody how we prepped this one. So I yeah, wanted please, to get into that. do that. Um, this one also had to be thawed for 24 hours ahead of time. Okay. Um, but after that, um, you had to take the plastic wrapping off. They all are in plastic wrap, um, basically like vacuum sealed. Mm -hmm. This one was extremely hard to get off compared to the other ones that I've been working with so far. Okay. Um, some of the meat, <clears throat> meat um, actually like came off on the plastic part when I was trying to like rip, but I had to like rip it off. Um, I wonder if that's because of, and I'm not trying to call anybody out here, but yeah. if that's because of how long it's been on there 
um, you know how like sometimes if plastic sits on something yeah. too long, like it will adhere to it a bit, so. It does say that it's good until 2021. So technically we could have left this in. I mean, it also says something about probably how long it's been Maybe. sitting too, yeah. right? If it's if it's good that long, right? you can imagine that, you know, someone's opening that next year-ish. Yeah. So um, this one did need to be cooked for an hour and 20 minutes covered and then you uncover it and you cook it for an additional 10 minutes. Um, you did, so before you put it in the oven with foil and mm -hmm. then after you take the foil off or the cover, um, you baste it, which I thought was, you know, like if, if this is your first Thanksgiving and you feel like you missed turkey, like being able to like baste something, I feel uh, like it's yeah. more like aligned with what you used to do. Yeah. Um, I just did, uh, it said you can use whatever you want to baste it, but they also give a recommendation for a recipe, which is olive oil, soy sauce, and sage. And I literally just did that. So okay. we could test out their recipe with their product. Yeah. Um, but it also gives suggestions to do like just vegetable broth or garlic or some red wine or herbs like thyme and marjoram, which I think would all be yeah. great with something like this too. I can imagine like some red wine and with the sage and the marjoram in the thyme, like if it, Feel like it would be good no i completely get that this is uh this one's pretty good yeah so i don't I, know where it falls against the first ones we've tried so far or the ones we tried so far but i'm a little nervous like i feel like we're trying all the good ones up front and then we're gonna be like disappointed later in the video work it only get better who knows who knows well you have to stay tuned to find out we are back with number four um, I will say that by the looks of things, I'm a little bit more nervous about this one than the other ones. Why is that? Um, well, for starters, uh, our older child was walking past as I pulled this out of the oven and she said, mom, that looks like you're cooking poop. Um, and now I can't stop thinking about anything else. Yeah, luckily it does not smell bad. It smells great actually. <laughs> um, so this one is the No Evil Foods called The Pardon, a holiday centerpiece, a roast for the rest of us. So I found this one at Whole Foods um, and I paid $20 for it, which is pretty much on par with the rest of them, mm -hmm. which has been about like 17 to 21 so far. Um, we, I, we've seen this brand at Whole Foods before. Uh, I feel like they have like seitan pieces or something, um, but we've never tried them. Yeah. Um, so we have no idea what to expect, if it's good or bad or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that per serving is, uh, or no, per the whole thing is 28 grams of protein. Um, the whole thing is 28 grams. Well, I'm confused because it says 28 grams of protein here, but it says it's eight servings. So technically it would be 56. That's confusing. Uh, okay. Okay, anyways, beyond that. Um, this is non-GMO, which is nice that it says that on there. Um, it does contain wheat and soy. Mm -hmm. um, and so the way that, this one also comes with a gravy, so that's what this one looks like. I don't know how far I can go up without spilling it everywhere. Spilling it. Um, I will say that um, I followed the directions exactly for the gravy, but compared to the other one and what I'm used to for gravy, this one is much runnier. Mm. Um, so I was a little disappointed there, but hopefully the taste makes up for it. Yeah. Um, I, so based on how you, it says to cook this, right? It doesn't mm. say, it actually says here, it, fridge or freezer, but it doesn't specify on the back of it that it should be thawed or not thawed. Um, so we did it straight from frozen, according to the directions, um, which you're supposed to brush it with olive oil and then bake it uh, for at 350. You also pour vegetable stock into the dish. Okay. Um, you cover it um, and bake it for 30 minutes, then take the foil off and then cu and cook it for another 20 minutes. Um, when that came out after that 50 minutes, um, it was completely frozen on the inside. Yeah. Um, and it was reading like, I think it was like 29 <laughs> degrees on the inside. <laughs> um, we have a digital thermometer. We'll link that in the, po in the, in the box below. Um, we highly recommend it, especially for things like this, where yeah. it has stuffing on the inside and you wanna make sure that it's cooked to a certain temperature. Yep. Um, but so we actually needed to end up cooking this for another hour 
Um, wow. Yeah, so I was a little obviously like disappointed there. Yeah. Um, but it's it's set. You're supposed to let it sit for five minutes, and then you can slice it. So at this point, first just... recommendation would be <laughs> that if you bought this, then probably thaw it out. Yeah. Like the 24 hour rule we had with some of the others um, prior to putting it in the oven. Yeah. I will also say, while you cut that, I will also say that for the gravy, um, it says to melt butter and then you uh, add a shallot, a chopped shallot into okay. the butter and then you add flour and then you add broth and then you're supposed to add miso, nutritional yeast and black pepper. And I did it according to the directions. We're rule followers when it comes to testing <laughs> recipes and stuff. Yep. Um, but what I found is that the miso wasn't like whisking into everything else. Okay. Um, so I would recommend that if you are getting this and using it, um, that you actually just pour a little bit of the stock in, whisk the miso and the nutritional yeast into that, and then after that point, add the rest of your broth. Second recommendation. Yes. Um, also, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I don't, being how runny that is, that might be I guess considered another recommendation is because that's use less yeah, stock. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. And I let this go loose. for almost 15 minutes. It's and it said like it should thicken up, but it just didn't. Okay. Um Yeah, let's try. I thought this one said stuffed, but it actually or maybe I'm like confusing it with the other ones that are stuffed, but this one actually isn't stuffed. Okay. So, I guess when you were talking about the internal thermometer thing, that was literally it just It was literally just the inside of it. Inside of it, of it yeah. still frozen. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's show them what it looks like real quick. Yeah, go for it. Always forget that. <laughs> All right, so the inside of it, oh, I'm about to like roll it off. This is what the inside looks like. Literally just like a big piece of herbed seitan. <laughs> so one thing I wanna say is that this one particularly, you can smell the fact that it's made with seitan. Um, were the others made with seitan too? Yeah, they all have. Right? So uh, just to be, I guess, ultimately upfront, right? Like this, immediately you can tell if that's not like one of those tastes that you like, um, you'll have a hint of that, you know, prior to even diving into it. So we'll see what it tastes like. And hopefully, you know, it's that smell is misleading. Yeah. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Go. It's chewier than the rest of them. It's satanier than the rest of them. Yeah. The herb crust is also a little powerful. I personally think it's a little drier. You want to taste it with the gravy? Not really. <laughs> but I will. The gravy doesn't taste bad. It's just runny. I like this better with the gravy, personally. It does taste better with the gravy. Yeah. I'm, I wouldn't, in comparison to what we had already, I wouldn't say this is you know high on my list. Um, I will say, I know you're gonna laugh at me, um, and maybe someone else that's tried this will laugh at me too. I feel like there's a little bit of a kick, like spice kick off of this. Compared to the other ones, I'm not saying it's spicy. I'm just saying that there's more spice than the other ones. We'll be back with a less spicier version <laughs> of food for her. That's it, that's what we're cutting. Yeah, I, I guess, because this wasn't spicy whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. All right, y'all, so this is taste test number five. Mm -hmm. And I think we have really high expectations for this because it is Trader Joe's. Um, so if you check out like vegan Facebook groups or just vegan threads pretty much anywhere, Reddit, places like that, uh, this has very high ratings. And I think because of that, uh, we're a little excited and a little nervous to see if we agree with these opinions. Um, You're just gonna I, be speaking for both of us, huh? 
I'm always excited. <laughs> I'm not. It's when I taste it that that's where the nervousness probably kicks in. But yeah. I'm excited. I will say that we probably harassed Trader Joe's for the last three or four weeks. There she goes uh, speaking for both of us. She <laughs> harassed y'all. I didn't do anything. Come get her. Okay. We were trying to get this video done earlier. So this was the last one that we were waiting for. Um, they we know now that they don't get them in until the first week of November, so mm -hmm. we have it now. Um, I do think that it's really cool that um, it lasts until September of next year. So if we do end up liking it, that we can go get a few and hide them in the freezer for other occasions. There you go. <laughs> Told you, come get her. Um, so I do like this one already though, because the price point was $12.99. Wow. So we are talking, you know, a third, well, two thirds of the price of some of the other ones, mm -hmm. um, which is amazing. Um, and I like the fact that as large as it is, it says that this is six servings. So I feel like it's a little more realistic for what people might actually eat on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought that that was cool too. Um, so this is only available at Trader Joe's. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. Okay. Um, and then as far as uh, ingredients and um, allergens, um, it does come with a gravy that looks like this. More like gravy? Yes, definitely. You can tell like how thick it is, um, which is perfect. It is um, wheat and soy. Um, there is no wheat inside of the gravy, but there is soy. So there's soy in both, um, I think. Don't, don't quote me on that. I actually don't see soy. So it looks like wheat in the, in the turkey list roast and uh, soy inside of the gravy. Um, it is, it's breaded, right? Versus the other ones that either didn't have anything or um, were like herb herb crusted this okay. one is actually like breaded and yeah. it's crunchy um which is not what a turkey normally is but i'm actually kind of excited about it you know the texture already it, it falls apart it's almost like it was slow cooked right um like what i remember slow cooking meat would be like yeah um on the front of it it just says a breaded turkey list stuffed roast with gravy but it doesn't say like what's inside of the stuffing part of it it does look um like it has like some cranberries or craisins or something inside of it um as far as the ingredients go you can tell that there is celery and onions and rice and it is cranberries um lentils are in here um and then just like some spices and stuff so let's show them what it looks like you always try to eat it i'm ready what do you want me to do i'm ready okay all right we oh. got like this medium plate you know what <laughs> this is what the inside of it looks like and you can tell it doesn't look like as prominent but we know from food photography that they put a little bit of extra stuffing for the picture <laughs> inside of there so I mean you can still see it you can still see the crate I didn't see it. See, it looks very prominent to me personally. All right, let's try it without the gravy and then we'll try it with the gravy. Okay. All right. I don't know, I feel like I don't know if I have stuffing or the stuff. All I right. feel like you're just moving things around. <sighs> Ready? No, you don't even have a bite yet. It's good, take a bite, I'm fine. <laughs> it's okay, I'll wait for you. It does, it's crazy though, it looks like turkey. Yeah. All right, ready? Mm hmm Go. Oh, not, we ain't going in there first? No. Okay. What's your thought? I ain't telling. Tell me. Mm -mm. I need another bite. That means she likes it. Not necessarily. Uh, no, it's necessary. You think you don't like it, you try and get my thought. As soon as I say I like it, you'll say you like it. But usually you don't take second bites of anything unless you already have some opinion about liking it. I think the texture might be the best one that we've tried. Um, You're just gonna drop the stuff in the bowl? I thought you did that. I don't like the gravy. Okay. All right, so what's up? 
I like it. I think that the, the turkey part of it has the best texture. Okay. Out of the other ones that we've tried. I'm waiting for your butts. I don't know that I have a butt. I, I don't think, I'm not sure about the stuffing part of it. I like it, but I'm not sure that it's better than the other ones. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what do you think? You haven't said anything. You ain't even giving me a chance. I was just about to. You just started coming at me as soon as I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you crushing it like you like it. Exactly. This is good. Like, this is this is it right here. Like, the other ones, don't get me wrong, still good, but this one set a new bar for us to compare to. Yeah. I, I, at least for me, it set a new bar. Texture is amazing. It I literally, as I, I was even cutting it. I don't know if you guys it, can see, but like, look at this. It was falling texture. apart, but also the taste of it is like incredible. Um, great flavors, great blend. It brings you back to that fall, uh, November. Is it not autistical? Not, I forget how you Altumnal? say it. Autumnal? Who? What? Uh, what? Autumnal, like fall? No, the word nostalgic. for like nostalgic. That's it. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm forgetting the word, but what? What did the, you say though at first? Uh, <laughs> Natista? I don't remember. It was uh, nostalgic is the word I was looking for. I, <laughs> but I don't know what you said though. What is the autumnal? I've never even heard of that. Autumnal is a word for autumn, like how to, a different way. Oh, okay. Well, no. I mean, he got that too. I mean. <laughs> It has, I like the crust though too. Like I like that little crunch that it gives, even though it's not like traditional turkey. Okay. Um, I still like that. Personally, you were saying you ain't even like necessarily like it. Now all of a sudden, oh, here you it go. It happens every time. Like no, I I'm eat it, and then suddenly I give my opinion, and you're full of malarkey. You know, here comes want to be like Mike. May I have something to drink? Are we good on this one? Cause this one's good. I would like to, we could probably save this one. Just sit here and eat the whole thing? Yeah, probably, but we have others. So. We're gonna give an updated recommendation that this is a serving for two. <laughs> it might be one, to be honest with you. All right, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. We'll have to see how the, we have four more to do, right? This was five. What were you about to say? We'll have to see where it ranks at the end. But right now, it, I mean, as we're going along, to me, this this takes a spot. This this like definitely is up there. <clears throat> so would you say it's this one and then field roast right now, and then the tofurkey? No, this and field roast to me are kind of neck and neck. See, I, don't I just agree. think that this has some things that I like more about it than I like about the field roast, which are like the breaded crust, I think is a different thing. Again, you don't normally get that during Thanksgiving on your turkey, but that's that's amazing. The, uh, just stuff like that. The texture is slightly different. I think it's slightly better. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back with another one. All right. I believe this is number six. Lost count. Yeah, I know it's it's uh, getting up there now. But so this is, I'm not sure if this is new, but I just saw Veg News post about this. Um, and so I'm assuming based on their comments, it's new. Um, we just haven't been, I feel like we haven't been vegan long enough to know what's really like new and what's yeah. not. But this is the Whole Foods 365 Everyday Value brand. Um, meatless plant-based roast with gravy. So it came with two packs of gravy. Um, this is just one of them, which I thought was nice that it was two different package packages. That way, like you, if you don't need all of it, you have it for something else later. You didn't have to warm it all up at one time. Are they both the same type of gravy? Yes, they looked exactly the same. Huh. So, um, so obviously this is at Whole Foods. You can't get it anywhere else because it's their store brand yep. of things. Um, it says that it is six servings. It uh, has wheat and soy inside of it. Um, I'm trying to see inside the roast, there is wheat and soy inside of the breading is wheat and not soy. Am I good to cut this? Yeah. Okay. And inside the gravy has just soy and wheat, wheat and soy. So pretty much everything has wheat and soy inside of it. Um, it is stuffed, 
with, it looks like, it, it looks really similar to the one we just tried, which was, was that? Oh, the Trader Joe one. Um, inside of the stuffing, it says there's onions, cranberries, uh, celery, and then just like a bunch of like flavorings and stuff. So it, it's similar. It has a it has the cranberries inside of it. Yeah. Um, as far as the price of this, it was only nine ninety nine. So it's again the cheapest one. We're getting lower in price. I feel like that's good. Um, but for the size of it, for only being ten dollars, is amazing, right? Yeah. Um, we did laugh about it. It looked like a breaded burrito <laughs> when, like, the burritos you get from Chipotle. Yeah. Um, that's what it reminded Chunky us of. Chunky burrito. <laughs> um, so this one, um, it was nice because you didn't have to thaw this one. You cook it directly from frozen. Um, it is a higher temperature and it is a longer time though. So again, you do the same thing. You put it in a baking dish cover it with foil or a lid, and then this one cooks for 55 to 65 minutes, remove that an additional 10 to 15. Uh, the gravy just, you warm up in a saucepan or the microwave, so that takes no time. Um, so a little bit longer, but you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I forgot to thaw the turkeyless roast. There you go. Um, it doesn't say anything about, um, uh, like prepping it ahead or how long it it lasts okay. um, or anything like that. So Ready to try it? You have to show them. I remember uh, I, this time. You remember this time when I forgot. All right So this is what it looks like. You can definitely see like where the stuffing is compared to like the meat part of it I made some cuts here. Thanks All right, so stuffing and the roast Ready? Yep. The texture looks nice. It does look a little drier than the other ones. Ready? Yep. Go. Why don't you give your opinion first? Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's to me it's drier than the other ones. Um, it's a little chewier in texture than some of the ones that we have said are our favorite. Um, but I think the overall taste is good. Um, it's not my favorite stuffing out of some of the other ones either. I'll try it with the gravy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's bad, especially at the price point. Definitely not, you know, at the top of the list or anything, but um, but it's also not bad. Cer certainly, like, I, I would eat this, but comparing it to be specifically a roast or a main dish and trying to go against the others, I just know there's better options. At this point, I know there's better options because we just tried it, but knowing there's better options, I would say, nah. But if this was like a, you know, occasional dinner or something, it actually is pretty good. Yeah, and I think too, like when you're comparing it to maybe like the field roast one that is closer to $20 and this is only 10 and you need to be on a budget, I think this is a no brainer to go with. But when we're talking about you have a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe that is five minutes away from each other and the Trader Joe one is only $3, I think you go with the Trader Joe one. I actually like it better with the gravy myself. Yeah, I did like it better with the gravy. Yeah, the gravy's pretty good. Um, but do you agree with that? Like if you had the Trader Joe's and the Whole Foods close that you would just go with the Trader Joe one? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I would, I would spend the more money um, for the, is the, is the Trader Joe one? That was priced good, right? It was $3 more than this one. Yeah, so I would I would definitely go with the Trader Joe one um, yeah. more than I would go with this one for sure. But if you only had Whole Foods, like, so Whole Foods when we were there, it had the No Evil one, it had this one, it had uh, the Field Roast one. Like, I, I think that if you're trying to have a budget vegan Thanksgiving that you could go with this one. True, no, nah, absolutely. Again, it, it doesn't taste bad. I just know that if you're looking at options, if there's somewhere you're gonna spend money, it's probably on the holidays. So I wouldn't go with this one for my holiday dinner. I do think like if your only choices at, at Whole Foods were the no evil one or the Whole Foods one, I'd go with this one too. Yeah, 100%. I'd definitely go with this one over yeah. that. All right, let's go to the next one. Cool. All right, we are back with number seven. So we are dwindling down to our last few here. Um, this one is the Gardein Holiday Roast. 
Um, it says it's a traditional holiday feast that serves eight. It had uh, different packs of gravy uh, with it that you could cut and only make all of it or make a little bit at a time. We just made a little bit. Um, it says it's a meatless turkey roast stuffed with cranberry and wild rice. Um, this one says vegan right on the box. It says 200 calories per serving. And where are the things? Here we go. Uh, also contains wheat and soy. Um, which I, I feel like all of them at this point have, right? They've all had wheat and soy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, and so for prepping this one, oh, cost, uh, this one was $20. So like it's on the higher end of where we've been. Mm -hmm. um, we got this one from our local <clears throat> health food store. Um, however, I have seen this at Sprouts and Whole Foods. Okay. Um, so a few different places that you can get this one from. Um, I also believe that ShopRite carried it as well. Um, if that is a local store to you, um, or if you have, you know, if, if our ShopRite carries it, usually places like Publix or Ralph's or something carries it at, you know, different stores like that across the country. Yeah. Um, so as far as prepping this one, um, again, you didn't have to thaw this one. It cooked straight from frozen. So it um, had a higher temperature and a longer time. But mm -hmm. again, we like that uh, you don't have to worry about unthawing it in, <laughs> oh crap, I forgot type I of thing. I think most people, to be honest with you, won't, won't mind unthawing just due no. to the fact that, that that is what they were used to, especially if this is like your first, uh, you know, Thanksgiving as a vegan, right? You know, you're you're probably just used to unthawing your meat before uh, you know having to cook it. Yeah. So this one uh, cooked covered for 60 to 70 minutes and then uncovered for another 10 to 15. Um, and again, you were looking for you know the internal temperature to be mm -hmm. 165 that we tested with the digital thermometer that we have. Um, and then the gravy again, you just heat up in a pan or the microwave. So. Let's cut it open. I like again that this one is crusted. Uh, same. Um, one thing I did notice on that box is, um, I, I don't know if I noticed on the rest of them, but the ingredient list fills the entire box. Yeah, is, it's is literally that... this long. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of wild. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them did have a lot. I feel like, I do feel like this one uh, was maybe a little bit longer than some of the other ones. Um, some things I'm noticing right away is <laughs> that the meat portion of this, I guess you can call it, yeah. um, looks really turkey-like. It does. Like the it's texture really of really white. Is spot on. It's like white yeah. meat kind of. And thing. also the uh, the stuffing is very prominent versus like you can tell like where the stuffing is and you can tell where yeah. the, it's very the meatless distinct. part. But yeah, it looks. Uh, it looks good. All right, you ready to cut into it? So I wanted to say that I think that they bred these not necessarily for flavor only. I think that plays another part into it, but anytime you make um, seitan, it doesn't necessarily have the most beautiful texture <laughs> on the outside of it. Right. Um, so usually doing something to the outside would you know, take away that, um, the unappeasing look. Yeah, you wanna cut it in four pieces? All right, and then we'll try it without the gravy first, and then with the gravy. I will say, I think the... So one thing I've noticed with Guardian, just real quick, is that they don't... Whenever there's a sauce inside of their products, they don't distinguish what is like the meat part of it and what uh, is the yeah. sauce part of it. So I can't even tell like if this is a, it doesn't say on here, like this is a mushroom uh, sauce. Hmm. Gravy, I mean, I said sauce, um, but the, it's darker, so I was curious. Yeah, true. Um, another thing is, is I have some high expectations because Gardein is pretty. <laughs> they're like our favorite. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty high up there, but well, I guess we'll see what happens. Ready? Yep. Go. Did you smell it? I did. You want to smell your food? This is the closest stuffing texture that I remember closest to traditional stuffing that I had before going vegan. You would know better than me. I'm not much of a not taste person. wise, but texture wise, okay. like the soft breading. I was gonna say the um. Let's try this gravy. The seitan or the again the meat of this is, is pretty spot on itself. 
Don't try well. that. It's cold. What's that? This got too cold. You're not gonna. Oh like yeah, it. nah. I don't. Nah. You. Nope. <laughs> not happening. Not here. It's okay. It's not. It doesn't enhance it any better. I don't think. Um, I like this though. Okay. Where does it fall in the lineup in comparison somewhere? I honestly think I like this better than the field roast. Huh. Um, but I'm not sure that I like it better than the Trader Joe one. So right now, the order of your uh, taste test um, is the Trader Joe field roast, but this might be in between that. Yes. Got it. Where are you falling this one at? I don't know. I um I liked it. <laughs> it's it's probably in a lineup as like uh, like top four, maybe three for me. So but, it's there. Yeah, I mean it's good. Don't get yeah. me wrong, it's good. I just and again, I think uh, while it's great and while the stuffing is good and you know the the gravy is is good. Mm -hmm. Um when we're talking at this point about some being 10 and $12 and this one jumping to 20, I think like we take that into consideration because you know, uh, one of the reasons we went vegan, one of the, not necessarily vegan, but one of the reasons we started incorporating meatless before we went vegan uh, was to help reduce our budget. So yeah. budget's always been something that we're mindful of. And so when you talk about this is $20 versus something that's 10 or yeah. 13, especially when, you know, you're buying this and you're the only ones that are vegan, or not only that, but if you're hosting and you've decided that only vegan products will be available at your house mm -hmm. and you need a couple of these in order to serve, a, you know, a lot of people, even, you know, when we do Thanksgiving at your family's house, like it's small, but I mean, there's still 15 people usually there. Yeah. So, you know, we would need two, three, maybe even four of these. And then, you know, we're talking about instead of $40, we're talking about $80. And when you have to make sides and everything, like it adds up pretty quickly. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I think, I think at the, you know, my judgment of this and the placement of where it's at is literally more of a price point, not necessarily taste. Um, I think the taste is great, um, but when I consider that against the price point and the availability of the others, um, that's what makes me put it amongst the three and four. And again, top top three right now isn't a bad thing when right. you're, you know, we've already tested, you know, seven, seven yeah. different ones. Um, I just wanna like, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but just the, the texture of this though is the color and the texture of this one is so crazy close. Yes, yeah, no, 100%. It's um, it's scary how close it comes to, uh, you know, looking like meat or chicken or, or, you know, what have you. I do think that this is one of the ones, so we talked off camera a little bit ago about, I wonder if we would think that some of these were good three years ago when we first went vegan. Like yeah. we're used to the textures and stuff now. But I think that this is one of the ones that you could make and sit out for people that aren't vegan mm -hmm. and they would eat it and be like, oh, this is really good. I thought you were vegan. And you can be like, I am vegan. And they'd be like, so why do you have turkey here? Yeah. And they would be like, it's not turkey. Uh, it's certainly with full people. Yeah. Like this is, this, is, this is one that will have people like, wait, what did I just eat? Yeah. That's, that's wheat, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's gonna have people all over the place. So it's, it does the job. Yeah. All right, we got two more coming up. All right, so we are back with number eight. <laughs> Can't even remember what number we're on at this point. Um, one quick thing, really quick, uh, I wanted to mention and I forgot when we were doing the last one, um, is that I thought it was really cool that with the Gardein holiday feast that they actually give you an idea for prepping this with roasted vegetables at the same time that you're making the feast, the, the turkey list roast. So I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to point it out. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so. Just stealing the sunshine away from whatever this is, but. Well, luckily it's still Gardein, so we're still on brand. Oh, there you go. All right, so this one is in one of these packages that most Gardein products are in. Mm -hmm. um, this is called the Gardein Savory Stuffed Turkey and they are <laughs> really tiny. They come in a package of two. They look like this. I'm just gonna put your hand in front of a knife. Oh, sorry. 
Um, and so this was $10. Um, they do have um, another thing that I didn't get because I didn't want to turn this into like the Gardein turkeyless show. Uh, <laughs> but they were like turkey cutlets. So that is also an option available that we are not going to try in this video. Oh, um, I should have tried it. <laughs> okay, we'll try it later. <laughs> um, this one was $10. We got it at our natural health food store. Um, but you can find these other places. And again, we'll link that store locator for you in the blog post. Um, again, this contains soy and wheat. Um, one of the cool things about this was that there was no thawing. Um, and it literally just went from the bag to a baking sheet for 30 minutes and that was it. Like it was super easy to do. Nice. Um, there was no like, uh, anything, there was nothing hard. It did come with its own gravy, um, which looked ex super similar to the other one that was in the, in the guarding box that we just tried. So again, it has really long like ingredient list too. Mm-hmm. Um, it does also, with this one, give ideas for um, a roasted winter veggie side dish and um, some other Chef Tao's green beans. Um, and it gives tells you like to go to Guardian's website for even more side dish ideas. So I thought I think that's cool when they they give those ideas, especially for people that aren't used to like cooking or anything. Yeah, well, that's pretty pretty nice. All right, so the inside of this one, <laughs> it literally just looks like a baby version of the other thing. Does it say how many of this feeds? No? Um, one person. <laughs> Two. So it says uh, one piece of turkey and gravy packet, two servings per container. So Got it. Um, it's supposed to feed, I would say two people. All right, fair enough. It literally looks like the exact same thing, just smaller. Yeah. All right, ready? Uh huh. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> I should have got, I, I did, this one is warm if you want to try the gravy this time. I don't know. It looks a little like jiggly to me. No, if not. Take a little bit. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. It really tastes good. Yeah. So, um, I, th I think this is a toss up, right? Like. I think that if you're serving just two people, maybe this is a good option. But when you compare this $10 option versus the $10 option that we had with the Whole Foods one, yeah, or the $10 option or the $13 option from Trader Joe's, um, and you need to serve more than two people, this doesn't make sense. I, I would agree. This uh, knowing that this costs $10, um, it's kind of crazy. I, I said, but I think the same thing about the uh, field roast that had the like, baby one. Wasn't that like up there in price too? Yeah, it was. So. Yeah. I don't know. I, um, I again, I like it, but in terms of options, um, not high on my list. I do think that if your option is you're trying not to eat out and you want to make your own thing, like this is still cheaper than getting a meal out at a restaurant. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, 100%. Like you're still looking at $5 for the main and mm -hmm. then, you know, a couple more dollars for a side dish or something. Yeah, but for sure. Uh, I, I think this would still feed us as a family because you think about having sides, like, and it's four of us. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, it's because we usually do some type of vegetable, but we also do mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. Well, yeah, that's my point. Like, there's just stuffing. so much other food. Like, I still think this would go further than you know, what it, what it looks like. But I also know, I feel like, I feel like our family does really good at actual portion sizes for the most part. I feel like if you had someone who is used to eating heavier portion sizes, that they would eat to both of these, if not eat both of them and be like, and where's the rest of my meat? I, I don't think I'm good at all at portion sizes myself. Lies. All right, we have one more. And maybe we saved the best for last. I don't think the girls are good at portion sizes either personally, but we'll, we'll go with it. All right, we are back with number nine. This is the last one that we have. 
Um, it looks completely different than anything else that we have tried. Looks like a filet of fish or something. Right. This was actually a fluke that this even ended up in the video. We were only gonna do eight things because that's all we had. And then I walked into Aldi and lo and behold, we found this bad boy. You're gonna say we again? You're just gonna say you walked in Aldi, but we found it? <laughs> yeah, we found it. Okay. All right. Um, so by now we have also posted a Aldi store video. Mm -hmm. So you know what our favorite things are and some finds that, you know, we tried um, and that Aldi is constantly getting new seasonal products to try in. Um, so this is one of their newest ones. This is the earth grown vegan line of Aldi, meatless turkey breast, savory meat free turkey breast seasoned with herbs and spices. So it looks like this. There is gravy on it in the picture, but there is not gravy on it or in it in the box. Yeah. Did you lose your fork? Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and so this one also contains wheat and soy. It has a much smaller list than we've seen from some other ones. Um, it is again two servings per box, so you are supposed to eat one uh, one of these per person. Um, it also may contain nuts and peanuts. If this is the first video that you are watching of ours, then may contain doesn't actually mean that it may contain it. Um, it's just an allergen warning. It means that it is processed in a facility that also processes those things, um, but it's not necessarily inside of those. But it's just nuts and peanuts, so for a vegan, it's not really a concern, um, just if you have that allergen. Um, we cooked this in the oven. Uh, so, so this is an Aldi brand. You're only going to find this at Aldi. Yeah. Um, it is an Aldi product. Um, we cook this in the oven. It also gives directions to cook this in a toaster oven, a skillet, or a microwave. Mm -hmm. um, surprisingly, this took a whopping nine minutes to make. Look at that. So it is the. It, you don't have to thaw it ahead of time. It literally goes from frozen onto a, a baking sheet into the oven. Yeah. Um, so it is the fastest one. It is also the cheapest one at, you have no idea because you didn't see. What do you think that this costs? I mean, you said it's the cheapest one and we've gotten all the <laughs> way down to like nine and eight dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and say- 10 is so far the cheapest. Um, I guess I just made that part up then. I, I would say this is $4. Did you see the receipt? No, you said it was the cheapest. So I figured I would just take a real hard guess. It was literally $4. Oh, nice. So Not like three ninety nine. <laughs> no, well, it was three ninety nine. <laughs> um, so, the, so the so there's a couple of things. One that if this is good, that means you could literally have a main part of Thanksgiving, your main course, for two dollars per person, which is pretty insane for a vegan like to ever get their main part of their meal down to two dollars unless they're like here's some butternut squash on a, on a yeah. plate um the other thing is is that each piece contains 15 grams of protein um, that's awesome yeah so don't say you don't know where you're getting your protein from for thanksgiving it's yeah. right here um all right i think that uh we covered everything besides trying it um and it, obviously it's gonna i think the cook time is due to to that yeah, it's not thick. Right, it's, this thing is extremely thin, so it's almost like a burger, which is probably why you can cook it in yeah. a skillet and stuff right. like that. So it's not thick, it's not stuffed, it's literally supposed to be a turkey breast, so it, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. um, the inside texture looks crazy though. I'm gonna let you try that first. Why? So this is what it looks like. All right. Eat it. I will. Waiting on your opinion. Whether it's your favorite or not, I'll still try it. I don't know that it's my favorite out of everything that we tried. You don't know? I don't think it's my favorite. You don't However, think? I'm waiting for you to taste it to say one more thing and then you tell me what you think. However, I will say that for $4 and nine minutes, I would buy this again. Do you taste mustard? You don't like it? Yes, I do taste mustard. You do taste mustard. It, it, or something in regards to mustard. Some combination. It, it almost tastes like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and mustard. I was looking, oh. it's, not, it's not on here though. 
Like Ugh. that's not listed. Um, I will say that we, we said it may contain nuts. Now that I'm looking at the ingredients, there is coconut oil inside of this. Okay. Um, yeah, it, ha it has a mustard taste. That makes sense for me why it costs so cheap. I'm not, this is the bottom of my list. No, I don't think it's that bad. 100%. Out of the ones that we had? Okay, maybe. You can't never get a straight answer with her. This is the bottom of the list. I'll but it's $4. Know right Who cares? You gonna spend $4 on something you don't like, then spend an extra $5 on something that you love? This tastes more fishy to me. That's my point. <laughs> I said it was a filet of fish. <laughs> um, but maybe with gravy, it would taste better. I'm not. I'm not buying something to <laughs> try to amp up the flavors. Like, no, I'm not doing that. This this comes as if it was already seasoned. It says it's savory, meat-free turkey breast, seasoned with herbs and spices, like and mustard. It don't say that, but <laughs> no, I'm adding I, that. I, I know. I believe <laughs> it. Um, no, this is this is a bad. This is a bad buy. <clears throat> So let me ask you a question. If this wasn't a turkey list roast video. Okay. And we were just trying this as a sandwich. Okay. What would your opinion be then? I mean, I mean. Would you buy it again as a sandwich? No, because I don't like the taste personally. Well, you don't like mustard or mayonnaise. I, I really don't. But I think for someone who does like mustard or mayonnaise, and again, I'm not a big filet of fish fan either. So if you like fish, too, this probably is like right up your alley. Yeah, it's weird, right? And weird for me, you know, initially you, you were thinking this was what? This top three for you or what? No, it wasn't gonna be in the top three, but I would definitely buy this again. In fact, we have another box and <laughs> I just assumed. <laughs> just like I assumed with those Trader Joe's cheeseless cheesecakes. And we still have that box in our freezer. <laughs> This is crazy. I don't know. Uh, we are going to go deliberate on what each of our top three are. I don't need to deliberate. I know my top three, but. And we'll be back in just a second. Let you gather your thoughts. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, so we did it. We tested all nine of the turkeyless roasts that we could find. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a winner. Uh, I have a winner. Uh, I haven't really, we deliberated separately. So uh, I will give mine since you say that I always wait for your opinion. So <laughs> my top one was the Trader Joe's. Uh, and I think it's because the taste, the texture, the price, like it hit all of those things that I wanted it to hit while uh, still being really good, really flavorful. So what is your top one? Uh, I want to say maybe Trader Joe's too. Um, oh, so you trying to be like me? No, I, you're saying we didn't <laughs> deliberate, but technically we did talk. <laughs> well, yeah. And you wanted to know my opinion, um, and that was my opinion. The Trader Joe's and the Field Roast for me were the top. I don't know if I can split one more than the other until I think about price. Yeah, I, I think I can. I think the, the texture and the taste of the Trader Joe one was just better to me than the field roast. But it, it is close. But again, when you're looking at $13 versus $20, uh, I, I think you go with the Trader Joe one. And I honestly feel a little different. I think that the field roast one, um, in terms of the taste of it, was better. I think the texture was better on the Trader Joe one. So that's that's what makes it tough for me because if you can have that same texture on the Field Roast one, I probably wouldn't care and spend the money for it. Um, but I, I'm also a fan of taste and I, I just can't pass that up when, you know, considering. Do you have a third favorite? Probably the other Field Roast one. No, they're the <laughs> same. They just have different stuffings. <laughs> Well, uh, nah, nah, I don't know. I mean, the other ones, again, they were pretty good. I, th I said one of them was like up there. Which one was that again? 
well, we both like the Gardein. That would be my third. Is that your third? Um, I'm gonna say something different just because you wanna say like that's yours. And I don't wanna be, you know, aligned. But if we have the same three, that tells them that it is the best three. I think that was the one that I tasted <laughs> and I said that would be like in my top three, but the video is, the video has been quite long, so it's not like we can remember every single part of it, but I'm pretty sure I said Gardein for me would be in that, that three area. Yeah, so I think that overall that we were pleasantly surprised with all of them, right? Like yeah. we, we came into this not thinking that, you know, not having high expectations, similar to maybe like the yogurt taste test. Like we had no idea what to expect. Like were these gonna be super satani and like chewy or, you know, over seasoned or have yucky stuffing or, yeah. you know, we had no idea what to expect since we had never tried any of them, but we were pleasantly surprised, I think. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, I'm, I think I was really excited. Um, I don't know if I was necessarily afraid or I just think we didn't have anything to match it up to. So that that was kind of the part that uh, I guess you could say was kind of like made us a little hesitant towards wanting to do it. Yeah, I think we're such fans of Field Roast and Gardein that we were just hoping that we weren't going to be disappointed by something else yeah, of theirs too. Yeah, for sure. No, I agree there. I do think that um, the Whole Foods, I think we need to talk about that for just a second, that even though while it's not in our top three, we still think that it's a great choice. Mm -hmm. um, and also, like, if if the uh, the Tofurky one, like, that that was also a decent one. Like it, it's again, not in our top three, but we still enjoyed it. Like if that's the only option, I feel like the Tofurky one is widely available more than anything else. So again, like I feel like if that's your only option that you wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess what, what comes up is the only option, right? Like if, if a store is 30 minutes away to get the one that you actually want and you know, the one that I guess you could say is your only option it's because five it's five minutes away, yeah. like, would you travel the distance? For right. me, I would travel the 30 minutes to go get the one that I want, not to settle for the one that's more available, I guess. Or you could just be like us last year and just do sides and dessert yeah, if I'm you can't find anything. Straight up just desserts the entire time. <laughs> Um, I will say that I think the, the no evil one was a little disappointing. Um, and it was just for numerous reasons, right? Like the, it took way longer than the directions intended that it was supposed to cook. Uh, the gravy just didn't seem to thicken up that much. Mm -hmm. um, and just overall, like the, the herb taste of it was just a little overpowering for me at least. I think the, it's also the same one that the directions were off because of the fact that it was frozen, right? right. It didn't say whether, it, it should have been cooked from frozen or thawed. Yeah, so I think that's that's a big that's a big one too because the time frame it took to cook, didn't you say it was like an additional 60 minutes on top of how long it was supposed to cook, which was right. another 60 minutes? It was 60 minutes, So right. like two hours of cooking while, again, you, you if you're used to cooking turkey, then it's that's, you know, like, oh wow, this is amazing, it's done in two hours. But if the expectation is, is that you haven't cooked this before and you know, you're waiting until, you know, your, your people are gonna come to the house and you're like, all right, well, I'll set my timer for 60 minutes before I start to cook this, you'll be, you'll be probably, probably disappointed because, you know, people will be there and you'll still be waiting on this for another hour. Right. Um, I did, you just reminded me that I forgot to mention during, uh, when we were trying the tofurkey one, that it does say um, that if you forgot to thaw it, you can raise uh, the, or you keep the time the same, but you cook it for two hours and 20 minutes covered and then 15 minutes uncovered, which would follow that roughly the time that the no evil one took. Um, but I thought that it was nice that if you forgot to thaw it, there was an option there. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, and then there was also an option on the Whole Foods one one um, that said that it wasn't this one. There was another one. <laughs> there was another one. Um, I think it might have been. Oh, it was this one. It says if you're short on time, you raise the temperature 25 min or 25 degrees, 25 minutes, mm -hmm. um, and then you um, you microwave it for a few minutes and then you cook it. So 
again, like I just thought that, you know, and then, so then the time is only 30 to 40 minutes instead of 60 to 70. Yeah. So um, I thought it was nice that those two gave that option. True. And I just forgot to say it during the parts that we were talking about those. No, that's, I mean, that's a good, that's good to throw out there. Cause as you said, those directions kind of apply to the no evil one that didn't provide that context. Yeah. And um, as far as the Aldi, I know the Aldi one was completely different. It wasn't stuffed. It wasn't like a roast. It was an actual like breast um, that it, the flavor was a little bit off and the texture was a little bit off. Um, I know for me, I liked it, but it was still at the bottom of the list compared to all of the other ones that we tried. Mm -hmm. um, and I know for you, just everything about it was, besides the, you like the price, but everything else that really I, matters. It didn't, it didn't even make the list for yeah. me. Like if, if <laughs> there was a number nine, I'm leaving it absent because this ain't going Stop on Stop it, it was like, not. Wasn't, wasn't good at all. I do think it would be, it's interesting to see what the girls would say because they haven't tried any of them yet. But I, I also the girls would be comparing it for what it is. They yeah. wouldn't be comparing it for what they remember. Right. Um, they would literally just be like, all right, well, what is this? You yeah. know, let me taste it for what it is. Right. So I, again, I think if you were doing that with the Aldi one, personally, again, it looks like a filet of fish. It tastes like filet of fish. <laughs> <laughs> it has some other flavors in it that, you know, we can't necessarily identify. I want to say maybe it's a, it's a hint of the vinegar mixed with something else. I'm sure it has vinegar in it. Um, it literally tastes like mustard. It, it just, it, you know, the, the blend, it just didn't sit well for me. Yeah. But so there you have it. Uh, the Trader Joe's one is at the top along with the field roast and the garden for all of us. Yeah. All of us, like there's more than two of us here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you guys have to let us know in the comments if you agree with us or if you disagree with us. Or if there's some other options out there that maybe, you know, other folks can try. So when they look in the comments, they can, you know, see what else is available. Yeah, I'm always curious if like people outside of the United States has these options or if they have different options True. Um, and what their thoughts are too. So if you live outside of the US, we'd love to hear your opinion about all of these options too. I feel like the most comments we get when we do taste tests is like, how do you guys have so many different options? We have yeah. like one thing to choose from. Yeah, true. Um, I know that Aldi in the UK came out with a turkey option, but I feel the last year, but I feel like that was a stuffed one too, but I can't quite remember. Um, so if that's what we get and that's what they got, then that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> All right, so let us know in the comments um, if you guys like this type of taste test video, we would love to know what else you would like to see. So give us another idea for a taste test that you would like to see. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, we would love if you would subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a like on this video and make sure that you show us some love in the comments. So anything else? Yeah, click on another video to see what else we got that you might like. Uh, and definitely make sure that you check out the blog post. We will list everything that we've talked about in here in a very short and condensed form, as yep. well as prices or um, ingredients and allergens. And we'll link all of the store locators for everyone that has it available on their website. There you go. So thank you guys so much. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate um, or if you are just looking for one of these options just because, then we hope that you enjoy whichever one you choose to pick. So have a great day and we will see you guys soon. Peace.